Ah, love the whole quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, where it is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low? Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff that are moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving him mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so... Get moving! See how tough these Clan Kelly fucksticks want to play. The point here is to get the monitor, not get into a fight. And if one of them gets up in my face, you want me to go, Oh, please, big bad gangster, may I have a vital science monitor? You gotta get your hands dirty sometimes, kid. Uncle Aiden's a prime example of that. Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up and just recently almost died and is now in a coma. And your point is... Science monitor. And with minimal chaos, just like you asked. Are you proud of me? Uh, if you say so. I knew I'd win you over. No one can stay mad at this handsome mug. Hold up. I think I'm gonna break your nose, butcher. known as the Fox, surveyed the clearing through steely eyes, looking at all the bad guys he was gonna kapow. Are you trying to roleplay as Aiden? Dude. Just trying to think, what would Aiden do? I mean, he could steamroll through this whole gang, no sweat. Yeah, because that's so cool. Is sarcasm any way to speak about your elders? You and everyone put Aiden on a pedestal. He's either the coolest vigilante or he's the worst villain. It's weird because he's also my uncle that, frankly, kept putting me in danger and then just stopped showing up. Oh, okay. Look, they even packed it up nicely for me. You'd have to search through it quickly. Clan Kelly doesn't leave product unsupervised for long. Ooh, I've got a better idea. Instead of picking and choosing some drugs, I'll just take all the drugs. How? And please don't say up your nose. That sounds fun, but I'm working it, man. I'm gonna call my buddy little droid friend and fly the whole thing out of here.
Got it. Great. I'm sending you the coordinates to a drop-off point so you can get the supplies to me. Special delivery for a Connie, looking for at least a 20% tip. Well done. I'll make sure Jackson gets what he needs. As for the rest, well, the resistance will find a use for it. Cheers, Wrench. Jackson, your shopping list is on its way. That'll help me keep Aiden breathing. But I don't know what to do about the coma. What if I swing by that big hospital? I can dig through their database and see if they have any information on treating coma patients. That's actually a really good idea. You've got to keep it quiet, though. We were avoiding the hospital because of Rampart. Don't worry. Your Uncle Wrench can be so, so sneaky. Oh. London's running on a fancy upgrade. Are you going to have a problem accessing the hospital's database? <laughs> please. CTOS may have gotten a facelift, but that does not mean she's better than me. Long-term patient ward. Shit, are all the doctors on break? Physician, wouldst thou neglect the poor souls in thy care? Come on, Doc. People are slowly dying over here. <laughs> yes, imbue me with all of your knowledge. I'm done. I'm heading back now, and I'm sending you the coma protocols. Leave it to your Uncle Wrench. Thanks. And you keep trying, but I am not calling you Uncle Wrench. Oh, come on! So, what's the verdict? Did that doctor's info help? There's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma. So I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? Look, you can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rembrandt's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? Do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? And why Aiden is in a coma right now? Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. I didn't have time to give you a mounted Gatling laser gun, but next time, little buddy, promise. Ah, shit. Satan's phone again. All right, asshole. 
I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Jesus, dude! Listen, I'm... I'm not holding Aiden hostage. I'm helping! Jackson, back me up! What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something? I gotta get off this burner. One sec. All right, I'm back. And I've got some burning questions. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and Aiden is in a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. Indefinitely. I thought Rempart was responsible, but now I'm finding out it's you. Uh, partially responsible? Please don't chop me into little pieces. Okay, Ratchet. I need you to wipe some data from Rempart facilities. Can you handle that? Got it. Go to Nexus Tower and steal their prototype combat drone. Not what I said, but, uh, sure. Let's see where this goes. Check our next area. Check your doors and corners. Stay sharp. Search the area. Clear. Let's move on. Keep looking. The longer you draw Come it out, here, the worse it will get. Why, hello there, you hot piece of drone. <laughs> you, uh, want to get out of here? I know a nice little spot where we can park and, uh, you know, talk and stuff. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. Huh. Weird, man. Uh, but who am I to judge? Let's do this. You safe. All right, let's scorch some earth. Where am I going, Jordy? Marking it for you now. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Brokatech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? She runs Brokatech, so that much makes sense. Look. The Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. All right, that's the first location there. I'll tag everything you need to take out.
Tommy? Was that expensive? Well, why don't you just take it out of what you owe me, you inbred little Scrooge McDuck? Wow, you really hate that prick, huh? Well, he does seem to have that effect on people. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot this was on. It's all good. Vent away. Marking the next thing. All right, that's the second location there. Tagging all the targets. Light them up. With pleasure. So, if the client's not Sky Larson, is it Albion? Like, maybe they're trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all his shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. <sighs> eh, next time. Mysterious client is Thomas Rampart himself. For uh, some reason. Let me ask you something. Why do you care? You get paid the same whether you know or not. Uh, honestly, I really screwed up here. And if there was some kind of shadowy puppet master behind this whole alien situation, I feel a lot better about it. Okay. I shouldn't say this, but I like you, Ratchet. <sighs> I see some of myself in you, so, so here's a tiny little spoiler. There is no scheme, no old enemy out for revenge. Just fucked up people doing fucked up shit to each other. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. through to Paydaysville. Marking it now. Paydaysville? <laughs> you mean to talk like Frank Sinatra or does it just sort of come to you? It mostly just comes to me. Hey, man, sorry the big reveal was kind of a bummer, but I think I've got something that's going to cheer you up. <gasps> Is it blowing up more Rampart stuff? It's blowing up more Rampart stuff. Marking your targets. What is it? Uh, the client's making a bigger deal about all the wanton destruction than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. Is this a problem we can fix by blowing up more stuff? Actually, I need you to clone a copy of the Rempart HQ server onto that drone for me to use as leverage. But I'd be surprised if you didn't blow up a few things in the process. Okay, I'd say that's in my wheelhouse. All right, I'm cloning the server now. You know, the client sure found out about our little rampage pretty quickly. They did, didn't they? And if you were still interested in who they are, that's what I would call a clue. Not complying. Over. Yes, the client was Rampart. Hotter or colder? Hotter, actually. Way hotter. Really? How does that work? Tell you what. Finish that download. These guys are still being a pain in my ass. I might find myself in a forthcoming mood. One sec, they're calling me again. There. That should remind these idiots not to fuck with the contract after the fact. You still want to know who they are? 
I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically the chairman, Louis Edmund Rempart, Thomas Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy, so now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. <laughs> Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. Hit me up if you want to run any more fixer gigs. Take it easy, Wrench. Sky Larson, founder of Brokertech. I have a proposal for you. You should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people, and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have of saving Aiden Pierce. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Hey, Jackson. What do you know about Sky Larson? I literally have her books on my shelf. I have a subscription to her Masterclass webinar series, and I won her Larson Family Scholarship. She's brilliant. Okay, didn't expect to unpack a big crush there. Super sweet. But I think there's something sketchy about this. If she can help Aiden, we don't have a choice. Hey, normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. But this time I'm a little nervous. If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Huh. Wait, is she a billionaire? Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's Wrench. I know you have the Broker Bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> okay, no, you're right, I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the Deep Labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret? Bring the Broker Bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do.
Okay, one, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me, and two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa! Th what? Th hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time. On speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up! Sky said we needed to bring the broke bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. Wait, is that the broker bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the postal service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to broker tech. All right, I'm here. And they've definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry, I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. high. Boom! Bye bye bad guys. We've got a problem. The levels to the deep labs have been disabled. Rempart's locked that whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash.
I'm in. Rambart left behind some of his buddies here, too. So you know that calls for a little ambiance. Won't that give away that you're here? Hey, that just makes it more fun. Let's party! Trying to take Sky's lab? Tisk tisk, Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I've moved on to better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. venture here's done for Tommy your company's toast and you've got nothing I made sure of it oh I got exactly what I came here for and your reckoning is coming but for now I can be patient next time I see you I'm gonna peel the skin off your face slowly well ladies and gentlemen and all other fine folk with that Monsieur Rempart has left the building excellent Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. There. You should be back in. Then we can begin. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What, wait, wait, what? You, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of a project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking Rampart out of your labs. 
You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Hey, there is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. I'm inside Aiden's mind. Hey, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Aiden, hey! Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture... Is that me? Wow, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. But Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's gotta be in here. Gotcha. All right, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you were coming from the start instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever. Just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? <laughs> Lena? There's no way. Lena! 
I'm back where I started. I better pick a different path. My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jazz, come on, you're it. Come to ten and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just haunts him? Just find Lena, Jax. You can do that. Lena, this isn't funny. I don't... I don't like this. Jax? I found a good place to hide. Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. This was the worst day of my life, and it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over, too. I'm not over it, and I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No, but maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. I found Aiden's cap.
got your cap, and you're leaving with me. Right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this. This literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go! I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this, exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but... Jesus, why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? I can't get through here. I need to get up there. I think I've got it. <sighs> the hell am I walking into? Okay, I need to find Aiden's code. Just focus on that. God, my house looks like a fucking crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? Jesus, who the fuck are all these people? Fuck, I, th 
think they're all dead. Who? Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Aiden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. This guy dead. I need your coat. Help me? I'm back. This better work. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know? Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! <laughs> Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson. Your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both.
Ah, oh, what a beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though, because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Wrench, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked in the Thames. On the books, moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um... Is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rampart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Rampart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck! How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. Let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in a Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you gonna do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? This is why you're running support, Pierce Senior. No backseat revenging! like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not, ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle, so, you know, we're still equals, but he's more like my second cousin brother, uncle father figure. Ah. Uh. Still compliqué. Bon, let's go. I better find a way to disable this barge before Rampart hits international waters. Find the barge controls in the navigation room. Suspect detected, searching the booting up shop.
navigation controls. I'm gonna need to shut down the engine itself, but I don't know how to get to it. You like being hands-on. I bet your drone will come in handy for this. I am so proud of you right now. <laughs> I'm tearing up! I knew you would come. I'm glad, actually. I didn't want to leave London before giving you a parting gift. Oh, well, if it's of the peeling face-off variety, <laughs> keep it. No take backsies. You won't think it's funny when I return the favor. When the tissue necrotizes in your face, it feels like a knife stabbing into you. Hot, cold, hot, cold. But you'll feel it a thousand times worse because I don't believe in an eye for an eye. I believe in an eye for the whole fucking face! <gasps> That's not very Christian of you, Tommy. Just lost main power. Override the final engine and ground this boat for good. Aye, aye, Captain.
grounded. It's not going anywhere. I'm picking up on a remote signal coming from the barge, and massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold. He's activated something. Something big. Get ready for a fight. The Mark II, piloted by a human. No broker bridge needed. Oh, fuck me. Care for a demonstration? through those shields. Hang in there. We'll find a way to get them down.
Why are you so you hard like to move. kill? You're welcome, man. Keep going. You got it halfway. Just finish it off. Think your little gadgets can stand up to this? Get back here! I'm not finished with you! It's almost down! Just a bit more! No use. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me. Oh, I've got one way. Yeah. Reggie? So sure I was gonna kill you. Fuck! Would've been so much easier to. You know, I didn't start working with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. <laughs> we're gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. Sitara. Josh. Marcus. I won't lie. I didn't expect you to turn him over to Albie in custody. Well, I asked myself, what would Aiden Pierce do? And then I asked myself, is that who I really wanted to be? And look, no offense, big guy. I think you made the right call. Even if I wanted to smash him into teeny tiny little pieces and scatter them all over the Thames and turn him into seagull shit. Well, progress is a journey. What's next on the docket for you? Heading home? Nah. I think I might hang around London for a bit, wrap up a few things. But I do think I'll give Marcus a call, though. Actually, hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a selfie in front of Big Ben and send it to him. Or maybe I should go to Buckingham Palace and steal a roll of some royal TP. <laughs> get him a souvenir. Great. Looks like whatever trouble you get into, we'll have to fish you out of it. Aw, that's so sweet. What a nice family moment. We really do make the dream team, don't we? 
Jackson and his two uncles. Two uncles? Shh, shh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. 